Hey everyone, I'm Jason Foster, Senior Baseball Editor at Sporting News. And I'm Ryan Fagan, Senior Baseball Writer. And this is Opening Day, the show where we open old packs of baseball cards and give them to you for free. The 1989 Upper Deck set changed the way we looked at baseball cards. It was the first truly premium set. The packs cost a dollar each, which was a giant jump from the usual 50 cents. And of course, this set included the iconic Ken Griffey Jr. rookie card. All right, pack number one, 1989 Upper Deck. Very excited about this, not gonna lie. First card, Mitch Williams. Jeff Treadway, I grew up on the street named Treadway in St. Charles, Missouri. I once kept score of a game where Jeff Treadway hit three homers. Nice. I once sat in the first base stands um, where Steve Sachs overthrew the first base like three times during infield warmups. And of course, the little holographic stickers that were so cool. Fred McGriff. Crime dog. The Slugger. Kevin Mitchell. A rare picture of Kevin Mitchell not hitting. Dan Plezak, Mr. MLB Network. Kyle Daniels. Lenny Dykstra, who would go on to fame and other things post-playing career. Chris Sabo. He was a big deal in uh, 89-90. He was a darn big deal. Mark Langston, the guy who was traded for Randy Johnson, who we hope to get a Randy Johnson later. Fred Manrique. Was that last card Tracy Jones? It was Tracy Jones. Quick story. You had a Cal Daniels in that pack? Yep. And a Tracy Jones? And a Tracy Jones. First game I went to, June 20th, 1987, Cal Daniels and Tracy Jones led off the game with back-to-back -back home runs. I don't know how you remember that. Ricky Henderson. Oh, I gotta love that. Nice centering on that one, too. Vince Coleman. Not great centering on that one. George Brett, that's a good picture, good drawing of his stance. Oh, hands back. Not the singer. Ozzy Smith. All right, we are couple packs in and no Ken Griffey Jr. yet. I'm highly disappointed. Harold Baines, Mr. Hall of Famer. Donnie Baseball. I always thought this guy had a great name for a pitcher. Eric Plunk. Johnny Ray, our first star rookie, Carlos Quintana. Not the star rookie we're looking for, though. We should point out that this box was purchased sealed with the baseball card exchange uh, <coughs> wrapper around it, so we know that it has not been tampered with. At least that's what they want us to think. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's weird. Ed Whitson batting. He was a pitcher. Yeah. That's strange. The best Ed Whitson story was from the famous brawl between the Braves and Padres in 84 where he, he wound up with his shirt ripped off. And Eddie Whitson had some famous stories about run-ins with Billy Martin, too. 
Mike Devereaux. Kirk Gibson. The Dodgers team checklist. Otis Nixon. The stolen bases for hire. Chili Tanks. Pagnazzi. Ellis Burks. There was a time. He was one of my favorite players to watch. Kent Bayaval. All Star Game starter. What year was it? Was it 90? Dennis know. Eckersley at the height of his powers. Big Cat Galarraga. Another Chris Sabo. There's where you can really see the the frames that he was famous what for. What was the nickname they had for him? Spuds? Spuds. Yeah, that's right. Spuds McKenzie. Tom Pagnazzi. Good, good receiver. Not much of a hitter. Chilling. There's Dale Murphy. It's that's not a reverse. This is the corrected corrected version of the Dale Murphy. His his famous error card was a reverse negative. Interesting. Wade Boggs at the height of his where he hit 360. Every year, it seemed like. You'll notice the glare on the cards. We apologize for that, but these cards were glossy. Uh, they were basically the first mass-produced cards to be made in a glossy format, and that's just hard to avoid a glare when you're doing something like this, but uh, we figure you guys will forgive us. Or maybe we're just trying to show the glare and show how shiny they were. The new wave of baseball cards. Definitely. Remember, these were a dollar a pack. When they came out at a dollar a pack, everyone was like, what are you doing? Nobody's going to pay a dollar a pack for baseball cards. Yeah, these were really high-end cards for the time because if you remember, the big three before that, Topps, Fleer, and Donruss, would range anywhere from $0.35 cents to $0.50 cents a pack. And uh, these were these fancy foil packs that were tamper-proof and had these uh, inserts and low-number cards. So they were a big deal, and that's why they were expensive. So if your mom already didn't like spending... 50 cents a pack, and then she definitely was not going to spend a dollar a pack. All right, look at this. We got Jeff Treadway and Steve Sachs, the combo again. Andre Dawson. Got a couple of Hall of Famers already in this pack. Another Ken Gerhard, Kevin Mitchell combo. Willie McGee. I love Willie McGee because when I was a, a, a kid growing up in baseball, Willie McGee told me it was okay to swing at pitches in the dirt. Because that was fun. And Willie could do it, I could do it, right? Your abilities were the same too, I'd imagine. Probably. I hit 353 in Little League one year. Maybe. I don't know. Danny Cox. Bobby Witt, his son, Bobby Witt Jr., is going to go with one of the top two or three picks in the 2019 MLB draft. Heck of a player. John Farrell. It's weird to see managers sometimes as players, especially when they weren't great players, if we're being honest. They just look so different. We're seeing some repeats already. That's not great. Notice how you never get repeat packs with like the top card in it. Like you never pull a box with uh, you know, five top rookie cards. Yeah. You will pull a box with like seven Eric Plunks. Right. We've got two Jeff Treadways and no Ken Griffey Juniors. That's not exactly what we were looking for. See another Pat Borders, another Vince Coleman, 
Kent DeCulvey. George Brett with the loaded hands there. Jim Morrison, not the singer. See, we're going through stuff already. There's a Ripken, we haven't seen that yet. Well, it would fall in line with what they advertise right there on the box as limited edition high quality cards, which if they knew they were gonna have a hot card, they intentionally made fewer of them and made more of the common players, so. They shouldn't do that. I would agree, but then it's like, you know, playing the lottery. Can't all be winners. Are you gonna go play the lottery after we get done here? No. Ricky Jordan. I thought he was gonna be a star. Was not right. <laughs> Speaking of Eric Plunk. Holly Joyner. Tony Gwynn. <laughs> and a second. Carlos Quintana. All right, Jason, is this going to be the Griffey pack? Yes. Oh, that's old. I was just kidding. It's a good action shot there. Bo! Feast your eyes on it. Bo Jackson. What a star. This There was a, a contest with these. If you guessed the score of the 1989 All-Star Game, um, you would win a 1952 Mickey Mantle baseball card and Jason what happened in the 1989 All-Star Game? Bo Jackson led off with a homer. There you go. Off Rick Russell. Mike Schmidt. Corey Schneider for a while was a big deal. He was. He had all this talent. I remember he he, he made a throw home one time from the outfield that went like 30 feet over the over home plate. I thought that was amazing. I've never seen anybody throw it quite like that. He also had that 85 Tops uh, Olympic card that was worth like $7 for a few years. That was not the Griffey pack. That was not the Griffey pack, but it was a bow pack, so it's probably the best pack so far. Rafael Palmero and the nice glowing mane that he had there. Another Ricky Henderson. Dennis Eckersley. El Cid, very good for a long time. Ruben Sierra. A third Chris Sabo. Are you excited about that, Jason? Well, it's hard not to get excited about Chris Sabo. <laughs> Chris Sabo was supposed to be the manager of one of the teams in the Frontier League back when I covered that league. Um, then he backed out a couple of days before opening day, something like that. I just remember they weren't really happy with him. Another Jose De Leon. Here. Another Dale Murphy. Now, wouldn't that have been funny if this one was the, the air card? Yes. But no. Mark Davis. Royals fans are not real fond of Mark Davis. Didn't he win the Cy Young in 89? He did, and then he was signed the deal with the Royals and the free agent deal and never was the same. Roberto Alomar, there's a good, good card. Jeff Montgomery had a long all right, a very good career with the Royals. I think he was kind of underrated because he played with the Royals. He would have been a star on somewhere else. Keith Hernandez. He's Keith Hernandez. He's Keith Hernandez. He knows all about first base. Steve Lyons. What's Steve Lyons famous for? Pulling his pants down <laughs> on the first base. His nickname was Psycho. Al Leiter, another MLB Network star. 
He's a fun guy to interview if you ever get the chance. Ken Phelps. Again, anytime you hear Ken Phelps, I think Seinfeld. Yes. Notice how he's in the Yankees uniform now. This is post Buner trade. This is when Mr. Costanza was very upset. Why did you trade Jay Buner? <laughs> A third Kevin Mitchell. Jay Buner had a rocket for an arm, but Ken Phelps had the best. You know, Chris Berman's nicknames could get old sometimes, but Burt Be Home Bly 11 was one of the best. Eric Davis. Two Eric Davis Cincinnati Reds checklists in the same pack. Lovely. Always feel cheated when you get a checklist. Yes. And then when you get two of the same one, even if it is Eric Davis. Imagine if you if you successfully begged your mom to spend in a dollar on this pack and you got two Reds checklists. <laughs> she would have been like, see, this is why you don't spend your money on that. <coughs> and I wouldn't have even been able to argue because she would have been right. Feels like there are only like a hundred cards in this in this set. We keep getting the same ones. Yeah, and that's as we always say, uh, that was always the gamble when you buy a box of cards or even a pack, is you never really know what you're gonna get. And more times than not, you don't get, you know, whatever the valuable card is or e even what the popular card is. Um, but the fun of it is just opening and, and not knowing, you know, the mystery is the fun part. The disappointment just comes later. And that was part of what made it so great when you actually got the card you were looking for, though. You know, you open up 25 packs, get the Griffey in the 26 pack. That's that's what you look, were waiting for. Ellis Burks. Brian Harper, Brian Fisher. It's the pack of Brian's. Two Brian Fishers. Why can't we get two Griffies? I, I will guarantee that that will not happen. Well, maybe. Tommy Her. Rare Tommy Her with the twins. Yes, the trade for Tom Bernanski didn't didn't work out so well for Tommy Her. Luis Polonia. All right, Jason, is this the Griffey pack? No. It is Bobby Meacham pack though. We haven't seen Bobby Meacham. That's true. That maybe could be a good thing, like, right? Maybe it was like one, one, uh, one per box, one Griffey per box. Jack Morris, Hall of Famer. We got centering on that. This is not good. Way off to the left. Jerry, <laughs> he was kind of a, an odd bird. He had fun with the photographer there. Mookie Wilson. All right, so we're more than halfway through the box. Well, about halfway through the box now. We have not seen Griffey. We've not seen Sheffield. We've not seen Randy Johnson. Haven't seen many of the star rookies, really. Just doubles of Carlos Quintana. Kuskasic. Again, a pitcher with a batting helmet. There you go. I don't think Upper Deck had... They didn't send their own photographer out. They had to use what was out there. Um, which is why for a lot of the rookies, they only had um, limited options, which is why I read most of the cards, they'd, they'd have two pictures, which was a big deal in baseball cards back then. Um, the rookies only had one card, one picture. They didn't have a picture on the back because for a lot of them, they didn't have enough pictures. Brooke Jacoby. Bobby Thigpen, Mr. Saves. <laughs> the 
is Steve. Dave Concepcion, you talk with anybody on those Reds teams, and they'll tell you he was the glue to that defense. I'm skeptical about getting a Griffey in this. I know, I'm not feeling good. It's just disappointing. I never got to pull a Griffey when I was a kid. I always wanted to. I got a 1990 Frank Thomas Leaf. That was one of the best cards I ever pulled out of a pack. Another Jeff Treadway. It's enough with the nostalgia. Let's get a Griffey. There's Tony Gwynn. I love Tony Gwynn. Juan Augusto. I remember when he was with the Cardinals. I was at a game. Um, when he stood up in the bullpen, he was really bad that year. When he stood up in the bullpen, people started booing. When Joe Torre came out, to bring him in for the bullpen. People booed louder. Augusto got hit around, and the second Tory came out of the dugout to pull Augusto out of the game, the crowd went crazy. I felt bad. He wasn't good, but nobody deserved that. Roger Clemens. It's getting easier to tell what the limited edition low number cards were because we're seeing now that's the first Clemens. We got the Jack Morris. There's been a couple of others that we have pulled that have been surrounded by cards that we have multiples of. <laughs> if Jeff Treadway. Seriously, was I'm just throwing that one away. Nolan Ryan, Jose Canseco, All-Star, AL MVP, my bad. Rick Russell, the guy that gave up the home run to Bo Jackson in the All-Star game that year. Oh, look, a rookie that's, checklist. That's just taunting us. It's like, he's like, hey, have you seen, have you guys seen the Griffey? Oh, look, does this count? There's Griffey, right there. Not in the pack. Stuff open in that pack. Should be in the Hall of Fame. It's a travesty he dropped off the ballot as soon as he did. Jason, did you order the box without the Griffey or with the Griffey? I must have ordered one. I must have forgotten to put that in my note, make sure there's a Griffey in there. Yeah, you forgot. You, you checked the wrong box. There's a Mariners. Right team. Kirby Puckett. Who's that? Wire in the background. That's a, that's a, that's a good picture right there. We've got a lot of Terry Kennedys too. Rick Sutcliffe, another pitcher with a helmet. There we go. Apparently, the upper deck paid for the pitcher's batting subscription in AP that year. Presidente, Dennis Martinez. I 
All right, we've got one more. All right. Last corner. I feel like Greg Gross has been like the first card in a pack like two or three times. Oh, Jack Morris. To Mike Pagliaru. I can never pronounce his Pagliarulo. name. Pagliarulo. I just said Mikey P. I never said that. I'm just kidding. A third star rookie. Upper deck was clearly high on him. When I think of Les Lancaster, I definitely think of 1989. Why is that? Because that was the year the Cubs won the East, and it was the first full season that my cable system had WGN. <laughs> so I watched a lot of Cubs games that summer, and Les Lancaster was in their rotation. So he, he's very 1989 to me. Nice. I feel like we've got a lot of these Nolan Ryan checklists in the last couple packs. So, see? Speak of the... Was our eighth Chris Sabo? Yeah. Andy Hawkins like, how long do I have to stay here? Take the picture and go. Of course, the next year, Andy Hawkins pitched the no-hitter and lost. Four to nothing. Which is impressive. It's hard to do. Frank Viola. I think we've got a lot of Wade Boggs too. I'm not complaining. The double Brian Fisher this time. I was going to tell you a story about a Kirk Gibson. The, his regular card um, was number 666. This one's 662. And you know why that is? Why? Because they were because Upper Deck was a Southern California card company. There were fans of the Angels, and they disliked the Dodgers, so they gave Kirk Gibson card number 666. Interesting. A little trivia for you there. Another Chris Sabo. All right, Jason, is this the Griffey pack? Statistically, I'm going to say no, <laughs> based on previous experience. I mean, we've only got one star rookie, right? Yeah. If you think about it, though, baseball is mostly made up of non-stars. So it's not unusual to get a whole box of people who aren't that good or famous. We're approving that. <laughs> Jesse Orozco, pitch forever, too. Very effective. Lefty. Seriously? Jeff Treadway? Jeff Treadway is the star of the 89 upper deck set. Forget King Griffey Jr. Apparently. Hershiser. Hershiser was coming off his incredible 88 season. Right. When he could do no wrong. Oh, look. Ken Gerhardt and Kevin Mitchell back to back. Didn't see that one coming. Charlie Lee, Lee Brand, what's he famous for? Giving up a homer to Kirby Puckett. All right, we got four packs left. I feel like there should be drama, but I'm just not very optimistic. I gotta be honest. Mark Guza, who does great work as the Angels broadcaster now. It's not the most flattering picture of Ron Robinson right there, right? 
When I think of Ron Robinson, he, he once, I think it was 88, he had a perfect game with two outs in the ninth inning against the Expos and gave up a hit to Wallace Johnson. Wallace Johnson. They call him the no hit, the no hit breaker upper guy, right? I'm sure somebody does. Am I the first one to ever say that? Probably. Another Henry Cotto. Pat Borders has also been a star of this box. Yes, he has. Jeff Treadway, the king. Jeff Treadway. I wonder if I can convince somebody that he's worth something. I'm going to go like plaster them all together and give them to my parents as a homage to our the, the house I grew up in. Julio. We're going to play for another 35 years after this. Two packs left. I'm going to go ahead and call it. There is no Griffey in this box. It's yeah. been a bust box. Why you got to be so pessimistic? There's a Franklin Stubbs. We haven't seen Franklin Stubbs yet. T-Bone. T-Bone. That's what his name is. Franklin T-Bone Stubbs. Him and George Costanza. T-Bone. T-Bone. Oh, look. <laughs> you should package those with the treadways. I know. I'm going to just put them in a little case, put them in a shadow box, and put them up in my office. All right. Last one. Come on. Come on, Griffey. Come on. This is just, even today, this is the gamble with buying a box of cards. You yeah. pay good money for it, and you may not get anything, but again... It's a, it's, a, it's a gamble we're all willing to take for some reason. Andre Dawson, look, Hall of Famer, it's box is totally worth it, right? Sure. Albert Hall, we've got several of him. He hit for the cycle once. Two Hall of Famers and four cards. It's a great pack. Three Hall of Famer. Oh, look at that. The second double Nolan Ryan checklist. I'm calling shenanigans upper deck. Yeah, I'm, well, that's, that's going on here. Todd Benzinger. All right, last card. Kirk Gibson. I'll oh, see this 633. That my information was faulty. Maybe it was a different Kirk Gibson. It's a good, good photography there. C. Celeste is the last one. No Griffey. No Randy. Okay, so nowhere in this mess of packs and junk is a Ken Griffey Jr. rookie or a Dale Murphy reverse negative. No Randy Johnson, no Gary Sheffield. We did get six Jeff Treadways, though. Which is just fabulous. Yes. But we've still got cool stuff to give away, and these are a few of the cards you could win. So follow us on Twitter at SN underscore MLB to find out how you can enter to win that stack. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more. I'm Jason. I'm Ryan. See you next time on opening day.